Hello YouTube. Today we're canning chicken in pint jars and we're making a couple of quarts of chicken soup. Our local grocery store had chicken breast on sale for $1.99 a pound. So I bought a couple of packs and decided I would try the raw pack method canning some chicken up. Haven't done that in a while and make a couple of jars of chicken soup. This is a trial recipe that we're using. My nephew is at college, doesn't have a lot of freezer rooms for his mom to be able to cook ahead for him or he can just take it to school and warm it up. So we're going to try some jarred recipes for him where all he has to do is just heat it and eat. I took the chicken breast out and trimmed as much of the fat as I could get off of them. As you can see I've got them pretty clean. Then I sliced them lengthwise from top to bottom and then turn the knife the other direction and cube them into three quarter inch pieces. For the chicken soup, I put four to five cubes of chicken in the bottom of the jar and then added a Knorr chicken bouillon powder, one teaspoon to each jar. Then we left our green beans whole and placed them on one side, then filled the jars the rest way up to a three quarter inch head space. I did use three good sized carrots in these jars. We also heated water on the stove and brought it to a boil and poured it over the into the jars for the chicken soup. Now for your record chicken in the pint jars that we're doing raw pack, you will not add any water at all. Once we got our chicken soup packed and the water covering it, I got my jars that were already washed and cleaned real well and I used seven and put a half a teaspoon of salt in each one of them. You need to use kosher salt, canning salt, I used sea salt. You'll place your chicken in each jar and you'll pack it as tightly as you can making sure you get all the air bubbles out till you get up to a three quarter inch head space. This is a picture of the Knorr chicken bouillon down in the bottom of the jar for the chicken soup. Once you get your jars packed for your raw chicken and your chicken soup, take a, a soapy rag and clean the top of the rims of your jar, making sure that you don't have anything on top of there that could cause that lid to not seal down right. You'll heat some water on the stove, not bringing it to a boil. I heat my pan to where it just has a couple of bubbles in the bottom, like it's gonna come to a boil, and we try to leave it at that temperature for about 15 minutes before adding our lids to our jars. Also use a magnet or a pair of tongs to get those lids out. You don't want to burn yourself getting them out. Once you get your lids and rings put on each jar, you'll place your jars into the pressure canner. For the pint sized jars, you're going to use 10 pounds of pressure and you're going to cook those 75 minutes. For the quart jar, you'll be using also 10 pounds of pressure but they're going to be cooked 90 minutes. Be sure when you place your, after you place your jars down in your canner, that you don't put your, your, your pressure gauges on the canner until you've let the steam vent out of the canner for 10 minutes. This gets all the air out of the canner, so there's not any air trapped in the canner while you're canning. I have a couple of books that I use for references. One is just a ball guide to preserving but the other one, I call it the Canning Bible. It's Ball's complete book of home preserving. These are not, all the recipes that I use are not in this book. Some have been handed down from generation to generation. But this book is approximately around $20 and you get 439 pages of information that is very, very helpful for canning. It goes into complete directions of how to can, how to prep your jars, 
how to make jelly, how to make pickles. It's all in there. Anything from marmalade to pickles to relish, it's got it in there. Another precautionary method you'd want to take is these are called heat proof gloves. I saw a guy on YouTube removing some jars from the canner with a jar lifter. One exploded and he had second, three, third degree burns on his arms and hands. So it is advisable. As you can see, these jars are still, the inside of them is still a rolling boil. If that were to come out, it could really burn you bad. So do take precautionary method to protect yourself when even removing the jars out of the canner. I also cover mine with a towel so there's not any kind of extreme temperature change or draft that blows over that could cause them not to seal properly. As you can see, our, our raw chicken turned out nice. My chicken soup looks good, we're anxious to try it. And hopefully my nephew will like it also, that he can warm up real quick for a meal while he's off at college. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below or send us a direct message. If we can help you in any way, we will. Hope you enjoyed our recipe. When we do eat the chicken soup, we'll come back with a video and share it with you. We're going to add either egg noodles to it or we'll add rice or something like that to it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Be sure to subscribe to our page. This is The Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.